everybody, I'm back with another Coco and Kiwi review. This is the Sydney diaper bag and this is the color Jade. They also have a couple other colors in Amber, which is like a yellow color, and Buff, which is like a neutral gray color. Um, I just went with this color because it was fun and different and I thought it would be a really cute bag to wear for spring. So as you saw in the other Coco and Kiwi bag that I reviewed, all these bags have really fun bright colors on the inside and Coco and Kiwi's kind of motto is messy baby, happy mom. So even though life's messy with your baby, you can still have fun and these bags will help you stay organized and clean when you have a baby. So. This bag is made out of faux leather. It feels really nice and durable, and I love this jade color. I think it's super fun and pretty for spring. These handles are rolled handles, and they are stiff rolled handles, so it's meant to look more like a purse, I think, than a diaper bag, which is what everybody wants these days, including myself. The hardware is gold hardware. It's kind of like a rose gold color. The zippers are nice and smooth, even though they're made of the metal teeth, they still are nice and smooth zippers. The bottom has feet so that it will protect your bag on the ground. And I'm going to show you from the side, kind of the angle of the bag. So there it is from the side. And on the back you have one long zippered pocket. And in here I just have my phone and some gum. And as you can see, the inside of this jade bag has a really fun purple lining. The handles of the bag are shorter, so it's meant to more be held under your arm, under in the crook of your elbow. That way it will fit over your shoulder if you really wanted it to, but I don't think it would be very comfortable for very long, but it, I put it on and it kind of, it fits, but not super comfortably over your shoulder but that's why it does come with this optional messenger strap. Plus, if you wanted to, you could just take this out as like a cute purse for yourself. On the inside, oh, I also do like how they have hardware on these handles because then the handles will lay nice and flat. On the inside, you can see there's that really fun, pretty, purpley, pink kind of lining. And on the back panel, you have one zippered pocket. And in here, I have a checkbook. <clears throat> I also have a Tide to Go pen, some hand sanitizer spray, and that's all that's back there. In front of that, you have two slip pockets. In this one, I just have a couple snacks, fig bar, applesauce. And on the other side, I have some boogie wipes and Clorox to go wipes. Um, there's two bottle pockets on the sides. And in this one, I just have stroller straps that the bag does come with. All of their bags come with stroller straps. So that's a really fun bonus because most companies make you purchase these separately. In this other bottle pocket, I just have a bottle of water. And then in the center, in the main part of the bag, I have a couple of Jujube pieces. This is a medium set piece. And in here I just have medicine and nail clippers and sunscreen. I also have a small set piece. And in here I just have some mommy things like floss, some medicine, a compact, feminine products, things like that. I also have my wallet. This is a Petunia Pickle Bottom Wanderlust wallet. And then on the other side, you have that really fun zip out messy bag that Coco and Kiwi is known for. So I'm going to zip this out just so you can see a little bit better what I have in it. This is great for anything messy, like diapers. If you don't have a place to throw away a diaper, diapers, it's a good place for uh, wet clothes or snacks or anything that could potentially get your bag dirty. And this is waterproof and it's also machine washable. So you could just take this out and throw this in the washing machine. And I just have my diapering needs in here right now. So I have three size five diapers, booty pod with some wipes, and I also have some diaper rash cream in there as well. Behind that zipper, 
You have a nice long back slip pocket where you can, I don't have anything in there right now, but it is a nice place where you can tuck that messy bag in to hold it kind of in place on the side. And then also in the center right here, I just have the changing pad that the diaper bag comes with. This is a really nice changing pad. It's cleanable and the color is nice and the color is nice and bright and fun. That's what I really like about all these Coco and Kiwi bags. The insides just kind of make you happy. <laughs> There's a fun inside to it. So I'm gonna show you close. There is the back flap, the back slip pocket, the two side bottle pockets, the place for the messy bag to zip in and out. And then on the other side you have that zippered pocket and two more slip pockets. And the center is a pretty nice big space. One thing I will say is the province bag that I reviewed earlier compared to this bag seems a little bit larger, like it'll hold a little bit more. This bag feels a little bit smaller when I pack it, so if you're looking for something a little bit more roomy, then I would go with the province bag. But this one looks more like a fun, cute purse to me. So if you're looking for something that would be transfer from day to night well, then this Sydney bag would work well for you. The price of this bag is normally $115, which is very reasonable for what you're getting with the fun features on the inside, the stroller straps, and the great quality of the materials. But right now, they are having a sale on their diaper bags, which is why I'm doing these Coco and Kiwi re reviews back to back so that you can, if you want one, you can purchase it while you, they're having their sale. If you sign up for their newsletter, you get 25% off. So this is the perfect time if you are in the market for a new diaper bag. I would definitely recommend this one. I will link their website down below so that you can go check out all the different fun colors they have and hopefully it will get you excited for spring even if you're somewhere where it's cold. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will talk to you guys next week.